So, you have a show for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Tiger King. Oh, changing the cat species so Disney can't sue us. That's smart. Hey, maybe Pumbaa could be a teacup pig. No, it's actually not a Lion King ripoff. Oh, okay, so is this about that Tekken character? Because I'm pretty sure that's a jaguar mask. No, this is actually a documentary series about a guy that owns a bunch of tigers. Yeah, I don't know about that. Documentaries are kind of boring. Sometimes they try to teach you things. Well, this one has big cats, murder, drug kingpins, hitmen, a presidential campaign, accidental death, tigers eating people, cult guns, explosions, and garbage meat. All right, I'm listening. Great, so this show follows a guy called Joe Exotic, right? Oh, and what's he like? He's like if Michael Keaton entered the Witness Protection Program and did a bunch of hard drugs along the way. Oh my god. Yeah, and he has just a bunch of tigers and exotic animals. Very cool. And he exploits them for money and breeds them and rips the babies away from their mothers at birth. Oh, I would just love to retract the very cool I just threw out there. Uh, I'll allow it, sir. So this guy runs a zoo with a bunch of employees and several husbands. How does he attract multiple husbands? Oh, meth. Oh. Yeah, they like meth, he gives them meth. Well, okay then, geez, and what about the employees? Does he treat the employees well? Well, pretty well, I guess. He lets them grab whatever expired meat they want from garbage bins he gets from Walmart. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's pretty nice, I guess. He also serves that expired meat to the tigers and to guests who order pizza. Oh, secret garbage pizza. Also, one of the employees gets their arm bitten off by a tiger. Oh, wow, so I imagine we spend a lot of time on that, huh? A couple of episodes? Not just a couple of minutes. It's barely worth mentioning, to be honest, in comparison to all the other stuff in here. It's not? So Joe also sells tigers for like two, three, four thousand dollars a pop. Oh, surprisingly affordable tigers are tight. Nope, they're not actually. Not an okay thing to buy. Oh, okay, whoops. Whoopsie. And Joe Exotic also has several albums and music videos. Oh, he's a singer. Not really, no. Oh, the songs don't sound good? No, his voice sounds like this when he's talking, and these songs actually have like a deep, low, soothing voice. They were actually recorded by these guys Vince Johnson and Danny Clinton. And so what are the songs about? Mostly tigers. That makes sense. But one of them is actually a diss track about his nemesis. Oh, he has a nemesis? Who's his nemesis? Carol Baskin. She's mad at Joe for keeping tigers in cages and making money off of it. And what does she do? She keeps tigers in cages and makes money off of it. Oh, she does? Yeah, but she also really pushes for him to stop breeding them and letting people pet the cubs. So I guess she's supposed to be the one we're rooting for in all this, right? Well, she probably fed her husband to some tigers, so I don't know about that. Oh, what? Yeah, he was a multi-millionaire and she changed his will right before he disappeared to include the word disappearance. Oh, very suspicious. She also says in an interview that if you want a tiger to eat someone, you should cover them in sardine oil. Oh, very, very, very suspicious. Yeah, so she probably did that. Anyway, her and Joe get into this big legal battle, and she pretty much takes everything from him. Well, it's gonna be tough for Joe Exotic to stay in business after that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, this guy Jeff Lowe swoops in to help Joe out financially. Oh, okay, and what's Jeff's deal? No, it's Jeff Lowe. You gotta say his full name every time. Why? I don't know, but that's what everybody does. Okay, so what's Jeff Lowe's deal? Well, he kind of looks like if instead of developing a passion for filmmaking, James Cameron developed a passion for dressing up like a bully from a 90s teen movie. Okay, and what does he do? Well, he's pretty much a con artist pretending to be richer than he actually is, and he carries around baby tigers in bags to try to lure women into his hotel rooms in Vegas. Okay, 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 so this guy also sounds awful, and I'm very unclear on who I'm supposed to be rooting for. Oh, I don't recommend doing that. Rooting for someone? One? Yeah, not a good idea. One of the most relatable guys is a former drug lord who may or may not have been the inspiration for the movie Scarface. Oh my god. Yeah, this show is so crazy that this guy tells the story about how he was present while one of his guys cut up a federal agent and you're like, well, at least this guy's honest. Wow. Anyway, so Jeff Lowe really starts to turn on Joe Exotic during the presidential campaign. His what? Oh yeah, Joe Exotic runs for president. His campaign manager is the guy who sold him ammo at Walmart. Okay, I thought you said this was a documentary, but a whole lot of this is clearly made up. No, it's not made up. It just takes place in rural Oklahoma and Florida. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. That explains it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, I guess that pretty much covers it, huh? Actually, I feel like I've covered only 5% of it. I didn't even touch upon the guy who looks like if Tim Robbins started a cult. Okay, okay. Well, how does the whole thing end? Well, eventually Joe hires Jeff Lowe's right-hand man to go murder Carol Baskin, and then Joe goes to jail. What? Did the guy do it? Nope, but he took the money for it. And he doesn't go to jail? No. Are all the tigers okay? I don't know. Probably not. Do you think it's a little weird that we're gonna profit off of people profiting off of animal abuse? No, I think because we're like an extra step removed from the animal abuse, we're actually okay and our profit's cool. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, because I gotta be honest, I feel like pretty much all the people you mentioned should probably be in jail. Well, a lot of these people have been in jail or, you know, will go to jail. I mean, it sounds like Carol Baskin's doing just fine, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. They have pretty much closed that case. I don't really see them looking into that any further.
Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There are over 100 episodes of pitch meeting on the channel that you could check out. I also have some other videos on there, so click around. Also, let me know in the comment section what other movies you'd like to see these pitches for. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, the button button. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.